All right, our next press conference uh, prior to the tournament is the University of Texas Arlington. We have head coach Aaron Gooch and student athlete Ido Skouri uh, <laughs> with us here today. And um, first of all, coach, uh, it's an exciting time, obviously, getting here to the national tournament. It's been a long season, uh, a lot of games home and away. But uh, just your overall thoughts of uh, playing at this tournament again, because this is what it's, you're peaking towards here is early March or mid-March and playing for a national title. Absolutely. Um, it's something we worked for all year. Uh, we have a really young team this year, so we had a lot of uh, room to build at the beginning. Um, but I feel like the past couple of months, especially, we've really started to click and really starting to improve. And this is the time of year that you want to see that improvement. So we're excited. Yeah, I was just going to talk about some of that improvement. What is, have you mm -hmm. seen? Is it defensively, offense, you know, those type of things? Or what, what do you see the most improvement from the beginning to now? Um, mostly uh, team chemistry with both, both offensively and defensively. Um, we have six new guys in this year from uh, uh, from last year's and uh, six returning from last year's team. So it's it's a mixture of half and half. Um, so it, it took quite a bit of time to just kind of build those chemistry with the new guys. We have several guys that are new that are playing extended minutes. Um, so both both offensively and defensively learning to effectively communicate with each other took a little bit of time. Now one thing, obviously, UGA is a great history of program, winning championships, and one thing I've talked to all the coaches is just how balanced this year's tournament and how many more teams mm -hmm. are competing and, and can maybe play on championship Saturday in that championship game, and, and for the, the growth mm -hmm. of the game, it's great to see. Absolutely. I'm super excited to see it. Um, I played in college as well, and uh, way back then, it was it was a lot more top-heavy where it's like two, three teams that like really had a shot, um, but I think uh, this year there's been... Uh, six, seven teams that have all beat each other at least once uh, through the top group. So it's super exciting and uh, uh, gives it that match, March Madness feel where like anybody can win on any day. You know, question to you, uh, how about, you know, Coach talked about just the growth that you guys have had. How about as a player and your teammates, what have you, you know, makes you excited about playing here today? Because you've probably seen a lot of this through your travels and your team bonding and those type of things that on the court as well. I'm sure that's all coming together right now. I will start by saying about growth that at the beginning of the season, like we had few veterans that couldn't play on nationals this time. So from only a second year uh, athlete, I was depending on the more the players with the most seniority. And suddenly, when they're not here anymore, I need to be the one that set the tone and lead. And we have we had a lot of conversation, and we're still having a lot of conversation about how we should lead this team, what I should do as a role player of this team, and. I can feel the growth of myself personally that like how the team is led right now and how it was at the beginning and it was just team building and team chemistry and a lot of conversation and hours together on the court. You know, you know, you mentioned you're a second year member of the squad, so uh, coming back and uh, building a little bit uh, off of your rookie season, uh, what would you say is one of the more important lessons that you've learned uh, throughout your time uh, playing collegiate? Um, I learned a lot about patience. Like the games that I play well and that we in team play well is where we just stick to the plan and nobody tries to be the star. Like if you're good, you will play good and just do what your coach say. Like when we stick to the plan, we play great. And I think like he said, it's very balanced this time. So maybe we are a little bit of an underdog, but I believe that if we play right, we can beat every team on this division. Coach, you know, the wins and losses, you know, Wins are great. Obviously, that's what you compete for. But as a coach, I suppose it's the things off the court that makes you most proud to see your team grow together when they come in, maybe as a first-year player, or even as a fifth or sixth-year player. But uh, just talk about the joy that you have coaching uh, this great sport. Absolutely. Um, so for myself, this is my second year coaching UTA, so I'm relatively new as well. And really just the like bond of the team and the excitement that we've had this year and just – uh, just the vibe that we have in practice every day of uh, with this group of guys just just wanting to compete and wanting to get better, wanting to push each other. Um, it's been uh, super fulfilling for me and super exciting for me to watch and be a part of. Awesome. And, uh, you know, uh, one more question for you. Hmm. Kind, of a, kind of a more fun question. Oh, I like uh, fun what, questions. What would you say would be uh, one of you, like a pregame ritual or anything superstitious that oh, you have I in the game? Actually, like this summer, I read that I had a lot of time like trying to calm down before games, and I read that juggling is very good for your brain. 
So this season, before every game, I juggle for like five, ten minutes, and then I do my stretch, and then I'm ready to go. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm going to try that too, I think. So, uh, <laughs> thanks, guys, uh, for stopping by here, and uh, best of luck this weekend, okay? Thank, Thank you, you so we much. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm.